Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with the today's UGP this week. Today's question name is uh, Candy and it's a hand carry question but uh, I would personally rate it in a medium one. Let us read the question again. So there is an N children standing in a line, each children is assigned a rating and you are giving candies to these, to these children subject to the following requirements. What are the requirements here? Each child must have at least one candy. Okay, so that's the threshold value uh, every child should have. Children with a higher rating than its neighbors get more candies than the neighbors. Okay, so return the minimum number of candies you need to have to distribute. So let us understand <coughs> the test cases first of all, and then we can think um, whatever we have understand from the test cases. Correct? Okay, so we have the input case first as one zero two. So this is the there's the first children, second children, and third children having the priority as ratings as 1, 0, and 2, right? So we need to first of all assign, let us do whatever the question is saying. It says that first assign one candy. So I will assign one candy to every one of them, right? Now, it is saying children the higher rating than its neighbors. Now neighbors here is one, uh, one is left neighbor and another is a right neighbor, right? So we need to handle both of the cases. So let us first handle the let's say right let's say handle the right neighbors right so this element the last element would not have any right neighbor right that's because there is no element present the right for the last element so we will start a traversal from the second last element right and I will check that if it is greater than the right rating right so the right uh, children has a rating 2 which is not greater than 0 which is greater than 0 right so for this 0 uh, the right neighbor does not have a rating greater than itself. So again, we will move down to the another neighbor and I will see if my right neighbor has a, great, has a rating greater than itself or not. So here it's 1 and here it's 0. So right neighbor does not have a rating greater than the current uh, element which we are at, right? Okay, so I think we are confusing here. So we need to check that the right neighbor must have the rating lesser than the current element then only we will say that this children should have more number of chocolates than its neighbors yes correct so definitely i can see that the right neighbor here is zero which has the lesser rating than my current rating right so this children this children should have great uh, the chocolates greater than its right neighbor and also we need to find the minimum number of candies so here the number is in neighbor mein, Usme plus one karke isko assign kar do, right? So that means I will assign this as two. Correct? So right neighbors are handled. Let's let's handle the left neighbors now. So left neighbors. Again, the first element will not have any left neighbors, right? So we will start from i equals to one to less than n. So I will see ki iska jo left neighbor hai, if it is uh, smaller than my current rating. So it is not, right? So again move back to the next element. Now I can see that this an element having rating 2 uh, have the rating higher than its left neighbor so that definitely the candies appointed to these children should be greater than its left neighbor and since we find the minimum so do go to its left right and do a plus one and assign to this one so this two right so your final number of candies that assigned is two comma one comma two and if you get the sum it would be five and that's what that's what also explained here right okay we have wasted um, not wasted we have spent enough time to understand how the test cases are so we just need to what to say check that if this uh, logic will always be um, always be correct for all the test cases so I have tried that you please pause this video here try to think of some other test cases if not let me give you one so let us assume the test case as two three four and one right so if you're not able to think of a test case, please dry run uh, now for this test case. So let us do it. Uh, let's do this dry run uh, together. Okay, so first of all, let us assign the minimum candy requirements. Now let us traverse from the right. Let us first handle a right neighbor. So I will traverse from here. I will say my left neighbor does not have rating greater than me. So I'll just move here. Oh, uh, the right neighbor. The right neighbor has the rating lesser than me. So I need more chocolates. So I will took the number of chocolates my right neighbor had and I do plus one to myself and assign it to me. Right? So two would be here. What else? 
ठीक है यार तो बाकी सारे एलिमेंट्स के लिए यू कैन सी दैट दिस नेबर इट्स राइट नेबर हैज रेटिंग ग्रेटर देन हिल्स सो हम यहाँ कुछ नहीं करेंगे राइट इज हैंडल सिमिलरली फॉर टू एज वेल दैट इज हैंडल राइट सो नाउ लेट्स हैंडल द लेफ्ट पार्ट बिकॉज वी नीड टू हैंडल द बोथ ऑफ द नेबर सो वी विल नाउ ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम दिस एलिमेंट दिस एलिमेंट ऑल एम यूज डिफरेंट कलर दिस एलिमेंट राइट and i will check that if my left neighbor has the lesser rating so definitely it has so what i will do i will appoint i will tick took the number of candidates my left neighbor have and i do a plus 1 and i appoint to myself right so this one will be changed to 2 right again i'll go back to my next element that is 4 again i can see that my left neighbor has less rating so definitely i should receive more chocolate than my left neighbor right so left neighbor has uh, how many number of chocolates 2 right and similarly this uh, this would be replaced by its li uh, uh, left neighbor value plus 1 so that would be to be replaced by 3 and the final answer would be 3 plus 2 5 6 and 7 right so this works here so let me take some another input where we will start is so let us take the elements like this thing so 1 4 3 and 2 yep i think we will start here okay So let us first of all appoint the threshold values, right? And then let us now handle the right neighbors first of all. So you can clearly see that uh, this has the higher rating than its right. So uh, one plus one, two would be assigned. Similarly, this has also the higher rating than its right neighbor. So take the chocolates of the right neighbor and assign plus one to its current one. So it would be three, right? So this would be our updated array one, three, two, one. After we have uh, make the changes for our mm, right neighbors now one we once now if we want to fix our left neighbors what will happen so what will happen is that we will start iterating from here and left neighbor i can see uh, is lesser is have the lesser rating than my current uh, children than my current rating so what will happen so as of now what we are doing we are taking the candies of the uh, left neighbor and it was 1 and i was doing uh, just a plus 1 and i was assigning it at 2 so do if i assign this as 2 right then we will have a conflict okay that was the case i was telling yes now we will have a conflict even though we can see that the 4 and 3 are different ratings how both of them can have same candies right that's a conflict so here you need to apply a check that you took the maximum of your left neighbor uh let's say maximum of left plus 1 comma your current your current candy let's say current candy right so left neighbor candy plus 1 comma current candy yeah yep so this would not be replaced by 2 because it has a higher a higher candy so it will be remain as it is now again let's fix the other part so again 3 uh the left neighbor has the higher rating so we'll just proceed on similarly for 2 the left neighbor so that's it so this would be your final output for this 1 4 3 2 so 3 2 5 uh 6 and 7 so 7 would be answer for this case as well right so that's the only thing you need to handle so if you are traversing from right to left then make it make, make sure to look like uh, to write like this and if you are traversing from left to right then uh, make sure to handle the max condition in this right one right Okay, please pause this video here. Try to code this approach by yourself now. Okay, that's the code here. Let me give you a very quick walkthrough. First of all, what we have done: the first threshold value of one we have appointed to each and every uh, children, <clears throat> and then we are handling fixing the right, right? So that's what we are traversing from n minus two because the last element will not have any neighbor, right? If you are checking if the current rating is greater than its right neighbor, then definitely take the candy appointed. to the right neighbor do a plus 1 and appoint it to my current uh, children right because we want the minimum so that is why we are doing plus 1 uh, because one is the minimum candy you can appoint yeah so now you are fixing the left so again uh, the first element would not have any left neighbor so we are traversing from 1 to less than n and then we are checking if the left neighbor uh, is having a greater rating right then you take took the candy from that left neighbor do a plus 1 and check it that if my current candy Uh, if it is, uh, you take the maximum of those two, and that would be your answer for that current children. At last, you get all the sum of the candies in your current present array, uh, answer array, and then you just return the sum. So that is it. Let us hit the submit button now, 
and yes so what is the time and space complete for this code o of n has time and o of n has space as well uh, for this making this answer array great yeah great so we have done this question i will not uh, okay let us see the c plus c code as well so it, it's not there let me just convert it okay some minor changes were there let us set the sum for the c plus c code as well i'll not give you a code walkthrough again you this code is very self-explanatory what is what happened uh yep there was some variable name problem okay so that's the code getting submitted and uh, what else so if you're with shannon and you like the solution approach and the intuition behind it do like share and subscribe until then let's meet again in the next video bye bye